welcome to Mystery Beers episode number 260 of Brutal Battle. And as usual, when we go back to Mystery Beers eventually, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, and I will say that it looks like most likely it's just hoppy beers in front of us. I know I've said this before with the Mystery Beers, but since we don't have anyone at the store that we go to right now who will pick out the beers for us, I literally just open the cooler have a sick, uh, an empty six-pack and blindly, like, grab the beers and put them in without looking. Uh, and then when I get them to the register, I tell them, I don't want to know what the beers are when you're ringing them up, so don't tell me. Um, and I just pay and I go. Now, I will say this time, though, they had problems ringing one up. And someone came to help, and that person was told that I didn't want to know what the beers were, but they slipped and said... A brewery name. So I know one of the breweries we're going to have beers from over the next six beers, so three mystery episodes, but I don't know what beer, I don't know which one it's going to be, so it's all very random. But the thing is, and I know I've said this before too, we usually end up getting hoppy beers when we do this because the majority of what's there are hoppy yeah. beers. In order to find something that's not hoppy, you have to be using your eyes pretty much. So it may very well be that it's all hoppy beers for these next three episodes, but hopefully not. Maybe we'll get a little something different. Hopefully we'll find something we like. Yeah, that'd be great. So um, let's just jump into beer A. Okay. Looks very clear. It is clear. It's Which I'm pretty, for. Pretty orange. Yeah, very orange. Little yellowish. Mm. Has a nice nose. Has a very nice nose, actually. Is that passion fruit or papaya? Yeah, it's very tropical. Yeah. I think you're dead on with the passion fruit. I think I can also probably get some papaya. I didn't say guava, too. Yeah. It's, like, so, like, tropical. Yeah. Like. Super tropical. I was going to see, because of the tropicality, I was sniffing it more. I'm like, do, do I get pineapple? I don't really get pineapple. I think I'm getting tangerine. Yeah, I can see that one for sure. It smells good, though. There's also, like, a little bit of, like, a caramelly note mm -hmm. that I think is coming from the malt that I'm really enjoying, which also may uh, show that there's mosaic hops in this one. But I will say, it smells very vibrant. It smells pretty yeah. complex. There are a lot of layers to this. I think it smells really good. There's a sweetness to it. And it, I'm more excited because it's not hazy by appearance. So maybe this is, like, West Coast-style IPA or something. Mm. Is there some peach in there? Ooh. There's a lot going on in this. It's very fruity. Yeah. There's but, definitely, it's hoppy for sure, but yeah. it's fruity. It's fruit. It's very fruit salad. There is a bitterness on the end. It's like kind of low level. It's kind of sweet. It's sweeter than I expected it yeah. would be. I don't think it's sweet in a bad way though. It's a little syrupy too. I like it. It's a little syrupy, which leads me to believe maybe it's kind of like... Double. Seven and a half, eight percent. I'm not perceiving a lot of alcohol to it. Like, it doesn't taste super astringent or anything, no, but... there's no burn or anything. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I'm definitely getting that passion fruit. Yeah, it's so fruity. Tangerine you're talking about, yes. The passion fruit, yes. You were saying peach on the first sip. Yeah. I can agree with that, but then as I've been sipping more, fades, it kind of goes yeah. away. Agreed. My first sip, I was this is so peachy, but it does kind of fade. Yeah, it goes away. I, I get like, a little, I get a little mango in um, the flavor as well. I'm into it. I like it because it's a beer that tastes how it smells. Yeah, and I always, I always enjoy that because it's, it's delivering on the promise of the nose. It's good. Can I um, bother you for some water, though, behind you? I, I want to cleanse my palate here. Thank you very much. I, li I like a clean slate when it's blind. You might want to do the same. Okay, so in comparison to beer A, beer B is scaring me a little bit because it looks... Hazy. It looks a little hazy. Yeah, it definitely looks hazy. Although it could be like a sour, I don't know, but like we said, most likely it's going to be hoppy, but we'll see. It's very like dirty yellow orange. Yeah, it's also pretty orange. Yeah, it looks kind of dirty, but I think... <sighs> it smells like orange juice. Yeah, it does. There's a little tartness to it, though. There's orange, yeah. 
There's something else on there that smells a little funky, like dirty. Yeah. It's like, I agree. It's like dirty orange juice. Yeah. It's like orange juice that's in like an unclean glass. Or like starting to go a little bit bad. Yeah, it's not like the best nose. It's not like super offensive, but... This could be a sour, actually. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Because when I'm taking like, deeper it's, sniffs, I, I feel like I'm getting tart. a... Yeah, I get a slight tartness. And especially with how rich the orange smell is, leads me to believe like puree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a fruited sour for sure. It's starting to smell a little sweet as well. Okay, I'm interested. I'm getting a I'm little interested. peach in this one, too. I can see that, yeah. My brain is just so focused on peach tonight. Actually, the more I sniff it, I get a little bit of like a white wine character as well, which is interesting. Oh, this is weird. What is it? It tastes a little whiny. Mm-hmm. This tastes like... It tastes very white wine, actually. Yes. It's like white wine barrel aged, sour, like tart orange. I don't know what the fruit is. Probably orange. Maybe apricot. No, not apricot. It's, it's too heavy on the white wine, though. It's yeah. actually astringent, too. It's, it's, it's like real boozy. It like kind of burns. Yeah, it's boozy, and it's it's got this kind of bitter punch at the end that just drowns everything else out and like you get fruit up front when you sip it but then the alcohol comes in and like starts like it starts kind of low and then it just like ramps up mm -hmm. and then the alcohol at the end turns into bitter yeah and so it's not very pleasant honestly the beginning is and the middle is like okay and then it just kind of goes bad from there it definitely tastes White winey. Very white yeah. wine. I don't like it. It's not very balanced. If it's white wine barrel aged, they went way too far on it. Especially because it tastes like it's it was just in the barrel too long. Not just because of how much white wine is being imparted. But I think that bitterness could also be imparted by the wood being in contact so long with this. Yeah. I'm really interested to see what this is. Yeah. I'm not. I don't really like it. Yeah. I'm not into that one. But it makes me want to go back to A and retry. Yeah. I do like it. Because usually when you have a beer that's not that great and then you go back to one that is pretty good, it tastes even better. Yeah, and does. that is the case. Yeah. It's more I, like even more vibrant. It's more fruity. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah, that one's good. That one's quite good. A is very good. I think it's going to be a clear winner. Yeah, clear winner. B is not into I don't it. don't like it. Not into it like at all. Okay, so rating system. Okay. How are we doing this? How are you doing this? Well, my rating system is five is an average beer. Right. Mine's different, but sure. And then I'm going to go up and down from that. Yes. I'm going to give A a seven. Okay. That's real high. Uh, I'm going to go a... I'm going to go five. I think it's pretty... It's quite good. Yeah, I'm going I like a five it. on that one. So that's an overall six, which is quite good for the podcast. B, you want to lead on that one or you want me to? I'm going to go two. That's exactly where I was going. It's a two all day long. Okay. So B, do you want me to do B since it's dripping wet? Yeah. <laughs> My pour, the problem is when I pour, like I have them in bags to pour so I can't see what they are. So I have to keep the bag around it. And the problem is like sometimes the bag's a little too close to the lip. So when you're pouring, like some of the beer just goes into the bag. And so this is B. Yes, this is B. This is a loser with an overall two. What is it? And it is... Oh, this is actually the brewery I knew. Oh. Uh, and this totally makes sense that we don't like it. Do you want to guess what this beer is? Okay, first, I... first of all, I'm going to tell you it's Falling Branch. Oh, yeah. We don't Their really beers like suck. Their beers are garbage. We haven't had a single beer by them that we liked. Yeah. Back when they had their original brewer, uh, I think his name was Grant, their beers were yeah, good. Their beers were opened. good. But whoever the brewer is now, terrible. Um. So this is an orange creamsicle milkshake IPA. No words, right? No words. What? No words. <laughs> no words. Falling branches out of Street, Maryland. 7.5% alcohol. Okay, a few things about this. A, it tastes nothing like an IPA. B, it tastes nothing like orange creamsicle. C, 
it tastes way higher ABV than 7.5. You are losing like straight out on this beer all around. This is a terrible beer. I'm so confused. I know. I went back and drank it. I'm like, orange creamsicle, I should be, it should be creamy. There should be vanilla. It's te- well, we were smelling the orange. We got the orange. But here's the thing. If you're smelling an orange milkshake IPA and you think, A, it smells like it's wine barrel aged, that's a bad thing. And B, that it smells like it's uh, tart, that's also a bad thing. Yeah. So this beer, potentially infected. Maybe it's infected. Um, we have been to Falling Branch before. We hated the beers when we were there. They have a, yeah. a beautiful place. It's so pretty. And like we said, the beer used to be good, but whoever their brewer popular. is now. It's very Some people, I mean, really people bad. are out there liking it because it's... I think it's mainly the location and people can bring their kids there. And It's a farm brewery. Yeah, it's a farm brewery. But um, they need a better brewer, like badly. Because I, I wish they would do really well. Like, oh, I mean, financially, maybe they are doing well. But I just wish they would put out better beers because it is a really cool location. They have a great operation going on there. It's just, these beers are terrible. Like, straight up terrible. Okay. But anyway, enough about that. Let's focus on what the good beer is. Do you want to re- reveal this one? Okay. So, winner with an overall of six, which is pretty good for this podcast. Mm-hmm. Equilibrium Brewing, <laughs> which usually... <laughs> Usually, Kyle I'm, Norman. Yeah, I'm usually not high on Equilibrium stuff. Where are they out of? I think like New York somewhere. I want to say, yeah, Middletown, New York. This is their Sky Lab. It's a double IPA, eight percent alcohol. Ooh, I wouldn't guess that. Yeah. Well, I remember, I, actually, I, I think that's the one I said, like, between seven and a half and eight, yeah. because of the syrupiness. But you're not getting like booziness yeah, to not- it. Um, this is a... I like it. This is a very nice beer. All right, well, when Kyle Norman hears this, he'll feel vindicated because he's been pushing equilibrium on us for a long time. He's just like, man, there's stuff so good, so good, so good. I think the difference is this isn't a hazy. And we don't... We typically are having their hazies because that's a lot of what they do. But this not... This just being a double IPA that's not a hazy, it's really good. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. We'll enjoy this one. Good job, Equilibrium. Thumbs up. Keep doing these uh, clean, clear beers. No more hazies. Anyway, um, that was a really good time. And uh, we, like I said, we got two more Mystery Beers episodes coming up. And then who knows where we're going from there. I think we have some other ones banked. Episodes banked already that we need to do. But anyway, thanks everyone for checking out. And until next time, keep it brutal.